Hi everyone and welcome to Nazar. In this video we will look at the details of Zhiyun ZY Kemi app. By the way, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to support me. And let's get started. ZY Kemi is a new app designed for Smooth X series. You can use ZY Kemi app on both Android and iOS devices. Go to Google Play or App Store and search ZY Kemi. Download and install the app on your phone. When you open the app, confirm the usage agreement. Tap go after passing the introduction part, allow Bluetooth access. When you turn on the Smooth X, you will see the indicator light at the top glow softly and turns off. If you are using Smooth X for the first time, you need to activate the device. You can learn how to do this by watching my previous video. If you want to connect normally after activation, open ZY Kami after opening the gimbal. Tap the camera icon at the top left and make the connection. If your device is found automatically, tap the upper bar. Make the connection by tap connect then connect again. ZYK may basically consists of three interfaces, shooting, smart and edit interface. First of all, let's look at the shooting area. This is the app interface. Let's start with the icons. You can switch to the home screen by tap the home icon on the upper left. Then you tap the camera icon on the left. The shooting windows opens. When you tap the M or manual at the top, you can change the ISO, shutter speed and exposure volume settings. When you tap the icon that says Full HD 30 FPS just below the A icon, you can change the resolution and frame per second depending on the shooting resolution of the phone. This field may differ from phone by phone. This icon has a glomer effect area. This part contains very fun special effects. Let me show you a few examples. In automatic mode, in the face is sharpened, thinner and eyes enlarged. Other effects are slim, smooth, brighten, enlarge, lighten and rosy. The last icon on the left, settings. In the video section, you can turn the flash on or off, add two different screen grid lights and change the white balance. One of the important issues here is gesture control. Smooth X has a remote command feature. It detected this with your hand movements. If you choose the follow plus shoot feature, the camera will boot start shooting and following you. If you choose shoot only, the camera will only start shooting. To activate this feature in the app, you need to tap the hand icon at the bottom of the record button once. Let me show you an example. Just do it high five with your hand to the phone camera. ZY Cami will count down from 3 and start boot tracking your face and recording. ZY Cam object tracking is extremely advanced. It just doesn't lose the object almost in no time. Even when I cover my face with my hand and pull it, ZY Cam continues to follow my face while it should normally follow my hand. If you are in photo mode, just show two fingers to the camera. ZY Cam will take a photo counting time from 3. Going back to the menu, you can remove watermark if you want. Let's get the gimbal section. If you are walking while shooting, you can choose the walk size mode, so the motors will turn according to these settings. In the follow mode section, you can see which mode is currently in and which modes it can switch to. You can turn off to some of the modes if you wish. At the bottom, you can change the joystick speed to fast, medium or slow. You can change the speed of zoom setting at the bottom. On joystick, you can change the direction on left right movement or up down movement directly from inverse parts. At the bottom you can change the function of the mode button. For example, if you add a shortcut menu to the mode button, such a screen will welcome you when you press the mode button. If you haven't used the gimbal for a long time and make small movements, it may be out of calibration. ZY Cam app automatically perform the calibration process. When you tap the confirm, it completes the calibration process by making horizontal right and left. And then vertical right left. After the process, only tap confirm. Last section is general. In this section, you can access information about your device and firmware version information. When you use the ZY Cam app, you can zoom with the white and tele switch on the smooth X. The smoothness of the zoom function or its movement without jumping wires depending on the quality of your phone. When you switch to photo mode, 
a new icon appears on the left. You can set timer shooting by tap this icon. In slow motion, you can create slow motion videos depending on the capabilities of your phone. In the time lapse part, you can make moving and normal time lapse. Tap the setting bar at the top. In this section, you can make interval and duration settings. At the top, you can see how many seconds of video will get based on these settings. For example, after this time lapse, I will have a 2 seconds video. If you start shooting with this state, you can make a normal time lapse. If you tap the path icon on the right, motion time lapse feature opens. First of all, we will set the start point. Now set that starting point using the joystick. Then confirm this location by tap the plus icon on the screen. Then set the end point again using the joystick. Finally, confirm this position by tap the plus icon again. Shooting will start automatically when you press the red button on the gimbal or screen. When the shooting is finished, the time lapse created will be shown to you and then save it to gallery if you wish. Another shooting mode is hyperlapse. In this section, you can make hyperlapse video. Next, a new section is live stream. In this section, you can make live stream via kawaii or rest stream. If you want, you can make live stream on YouTube or Facebook with RPMP server. Last shooting mode is panorama. Shooting starts when you switch to this mode and press the gimbal red button or tap the white button on the screen. When the shooting is finished, photo is saved to the gallery. You can access the gallery from the button of the record button. Another icon on the screen is front camera icon above the record button. By the way, you can also make object tracking with smooth X. To activate this feature, select the object you want to follow on the screen by holding down the screen and creating a rectangle. When you take your finger, tracking will start automatically. To cancel, just tap the green cross. The second interface of the ZY Cam app is Smart Area. This area basically shows you an interface when you can make creative videos. In this area, there are 5 templates that don't bother you with video editing. By the way, you can change templates. You just shoot your videos in the desired way in the given time. Let's explain with an example. I will choose the Explore Temple. At the bottom, you will see 4 fields of 3 seconds each. You can create videos of an average of 12 seconds. With the 12 seconds limit, you can fully share this video on TikTok or Instagram stories. On the top left, you will find the field describing the shooting you need to take in first step on the template. Let's take a shoot like the one shown here. When you tap the record button on the gimbal, the countdown starts and when it's finished recording take places for 3 seconds. Immediately after, the template shows you your shoot. If the video is complete, tap the next. If you want to shoot again, tap retake. Let's do the same for the second, third and fourth templates. When the fourth shoot is complete, you can see the preview and save button on the screen. Let's see what happens by hitting the preview. If this shoot is ok for you, tap the save at the top right. Those the video will record them. A similar style appears when you tap the plus button on the home screen. Select the template from the window that opens. Select the template you want and download it to your phone. Then tap apply. Once your gallery is open, mark the videos to be added to this template throughout your gallery. Tap next when all videos are marked. ZY Kemi will make an edit for you.
the third and final interface of the ZY Cam app is Edit. Tap the Create icon in the middle. Then select videos you want to edit from the gallery. The selected video will be placed on after another on the timeline. Now you can add transition effects between videos, add different filters, change the video speed, change the audio and rotate the video, cut places, download the different music and apply it to the video, add text and make basic color settings. Finally, you can edit your own videos on different predefined objects from this section. The last place is account section. In this section, you can view your account and configure app settings from the top right. Thank you for watching this video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. See you in next video. Bye.